how tired are you feeling these days? We're two years into the pandemic at the time of this recording, and I'm finding that people have such a deep level of exhaustion now. It's a way of being bone weary. It's, it's you're still working, getting everything you need done, but you feel so much more depleted. And then everyone's asking for something from you. People at home, people at work, people in your community with friends. So you're there to support them. But then when you replenish yourself, you just become even more drained, even more depleted. That's why what I'm going to do today is show you three simple ways to be able to start to alleviate that exhaustion, to be able to replenish yourself and get moving on that journey forward. So please like, subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube, and please feel free to pass this on to your friends to share it so that they can also benefit from it. Let's jump into these three ways. So how can we break the cycle of this feeling drained of feeling just all of the weight of the past months of all of the stuff that's been happening, all the uncertainty? How do we start to alleviate that? Well, what I want to give you, we're not going to cure world hunger in 10 minutes, but what I want to give you is three simple ways that you can start applying right now that will make a powerful impact in your life to get you started in moving forward, okay? This is not rocket science. I am a rocket scientist, I can say that, okay? This is really simple, um, simple stuff you can do with just a couple of minutes, a few minutes a day, all right? That will make a big difference for you. So what's the first thing? Uh, it's actually, something that we don't want to do because when you're tired when you're exhausted you just want to curl up and be there in that corner but it's to stand up and to move to just to walk okay if you can't go outside if it's a really yucky day even around the house just start with five minutes five minutes uh walking walk out that door ideally even if it's snowing, even if it's raining, you can bundle up. If it's cold, bundle up. And getting outside, getting fresh air will make a difference as well. And we're not talking about, you know, going for an hour, just five minutes today. Start that. Getting that fresh air, getting outside, and ideally, if you can get in nature, that would be wonderful, uh, especially around water. I find that being around water, uh, it, it's healing. It, it sucks away all that heaviness, that goop. I, you know, something that's been a godsend to me through these last couple of years is the beach walks. I'm very lucky that I've got about eight uh, amazing beaches within an hour's walk, drive of me that I go to and, and I can, if you've got the time, do something like that or go by a river or a lake. Um, if it's close, when I lived in the middle of the country, I found there was a park and a secluded spot that I found that I went to that I could just walk or just sit on a rock by the water and just let that effect of nature start to take away all the heaviness. But all I'm saying is start with five minutes. That's all you have to do. Just go around the block, what, whatever it is. Just start with five minutes. Do that for a week. Then maybe up it next week to 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then start to move. If you can do more, do it. Go to a park that's nearby. Go to a beach and take a you know, nice... Uh, a nice walk that gets you out there. The fact is when you're vegging, you're not going to be productive anyway. So you're not losing anything. All right. So that's number one, just walk, start with five minutes at a time and get outside. 
okay? Unless it's really, really messy weather, you can still walk inside. But getting the fresh air, getting um, all of all that makes a huge difference. So that's number one. Two is to actually take a break. What we tend to do is work right through the, the day, skip breaks, skip lunch, and it's more common now, ironically, with so many people working at home than even in the office when everyone was at the office. So we've got this delusion that we've got so much to do, we can't afford the time. Well, you know, over the past 30 years, I've done loads of programs and loads of organization. And a lot of times I've gone, uh, seen them multiple times a week or two apart. And I can't tell you how many times I've told them to do this, take a break, just a 15 minute break in the morning, 15 minute break in the afternoon. And I guarantee them that they will be more productive in the next week. Just to actually take a break and walk away. See, it combines with your number one, take a walk. And the funny thing is in 30 years, I've done this and told so many people and what happens a week later, they all come back and sheepishly admit they actually got more done. Research shows that you cannot increase your productivity by just plugging away and doing and doing and doing. Your brain needs those breaks. So take those breaks, take a real lunch. Do not work through lunch. You are deluding yourself. I don't know how to put it any more simply. You are not any more productive. I'm a scientist. I say, test it. And this is what I've challenged people to do. Do it for a week. Take those breaks, morning and afternoon. Take a lunch, get away from the desk. Go for a walk outside. Guarantee you, your productivity will go up because your brain will function better. Some of that exhaustion will lighten up. So that's number two, take a break and it can combine with the, uh, the first one, take a walk. Third simple remedy is use your lifeline, call a friend, okay? One of the things we do when we're exhausted is we isolate ourselves. So who can you call to join you on your walk maybe, to go for a coffee, to go for a drink? You don't have to talk about work, you don't have to talk about anything, just to have some sort of interaction. I know some introverts will say, no, no, being around people drains me. But when we are as isolated as we have been these past two years, unless you're extreme, 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 way over on the introvert scale, you're feeling the impact of that isolation as well. You know, the, that we still need some social interaction. So it doesn't have to be a huge crowd, just one person, a friend, a family member that you can actually interact with in person within your, whatever your sense of safety or comfort, your bubble. And having that human interaction, it's amazing how much that is healing, how much it makes a difference for who we are. So there you go, there's three simple things and they can actually be combined. You know, taking a walk, uh, get out and just start with a few minutes and then go on, take a break sometime in the day, God forbid. And um, you can take your walk then and reach a friend, call a friend. And perhaps if, if you happen to be co-located or near them, they can take their breaks at the same time and take a walk as well. Three simple things that take minutes a day, but they'll do a huge amount to help you start to be able to breathe, start to get some energy back. Now, the last resource I wanna give you, um, 
is if you're interested in exploring mindfulness and being able to take it from the mountaintop to your regular life, to be able to live it really simply. One thing I've done since the pandemic is make my Mindfulness 101 course available for free to anyone who needs it. Please feel free, go to saynotostress.com, download it, get into the program. Again, I've designed it so it's just minutes a day. But please at least practice these three simple techniques and lighten your exhaustion just a little bit.